Imagine this. You're a fighter pilot, strapped into a machine that can fly faster than twice the speed of sound, climb to 60,000 feet in minutes, and carry enough missiles to overwhelm an entire enemy squadron. Sounds like a science fiction jet, right? Well, it's real, and it's called the F-15EX Eagle II. The United States Air Force already has the stealthy F-22 Raptor and the versatile F-35 Lightning II. So why bring back a design rooted in the 1970s? Isn't that like buying a muscle car in the age of electric vehicles? That's the question many people ask. And the answer reveals a fascinating mix of strategy, budget, and raw performance. The F-15EX is not just a revamped classic. It's a supercharged evolution of the legendary F-15 Eagle, a jet with an air-to-air -air kill record of 104 victories and zero losses. With modern upgrades, new avionics, advanced radar, digital flight controls, and a weapons payload that can reach 2,900 pounds, the Eagle II is designed to fight alongside stealth fighters, filling roles they can't. So today, let's dive deep. We'll explore its history, design, firepower, advantages, weaknesses, and how it stacks up against rivals. By the end, you'll know whether the F-15EX is America's Steel Eagle of the 21st century or a relic dressed in modern paint. The story of the F-15EX begins long before the jet itself ever took flight. Back in the 1960s, the U.S. Air Force faced a serious challenge. Over Vietnam, American F-4 Phantoms were being shot down by smaller, more agile MiG-17s and MiG-21s. The lesson was clear. The U.S. needed a pure air superiority fighter, not just a multi-role platform. That led to the birth of the original F-15 Eagle in the early 1970s, designed by McDonnell Douglas to dominate the skies. And dominate it did. From the Middle East to the Balkans, the F-15 proved nearly untouchable, cementing its reputation as one of the greatest fighters ever built. But by the 2000s, Many U.S. Eagles were aging, with tens of thousands of flight hours behind them. The F-22 Raptor was supposed to replace them, but production ended in 2012 after only 187 jets, far fewer than planned. Meanwhile, the F-35 program suffered delays and soaring costs. That's when Boeing, which had absorbed McDonnell Douglas, proposed a solution a new advanced eagle. Building on export models like the F-15SA for Saudi Arabia and the F-15QA for Qatar, Boeing pitched the F-15X, later renamed F-15EX Eagle Tabor II, to keep America's air dominance fleet strong without the delays of designing a brand new aircraft. In 2018, the Air Force approved the plan. The logic was simple. The F-15EX uses an existing production line can integrate seamlessly with U.S. infrastructure and costs significantly less per flight hour than the F-35. The first contract came in 2020 for eight jets worth $1.2 billion. By early 2021, the first Eagle Tutu was delivered to Eglin Air Force Base, marking the start of a new era for the iconic Eagle family. At first glance, the F-15EX looks almost identical to the classic F-15. The silhouette is the same. Twin tails, broad wings, and twin engines. But under the skin, it's a very different beast. One of the biggest upgrades is the Open Mission Systems architecture. This digital backbone allows new software and hardware to be integrated much faster than in older jets, meaning the Eagle II can keep evolving as threats change. In short, it's future-proofed. The cockpit has been completely modernized. Instead of the analog gauges of older Eagles, the EX features a 19-inch large area display, similar to a giant iPad, giving pilots customizable situational awareness. Alongside it are advanced helmet-mounted displays that let pilots target enemies just by looking at them. On the avionics side, 
The Eagle Gladroid TOD-2 carries the Raytheon AN-APG-82 V.1 Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA radar, capable of tracking multiple targets at extreme ranges with pinpoint accuracy. It also integrates the Legion Infrared Search and Track Pod, giving it a passive way to detect stealth aircraft that might otherwise slip under radar. Defensively, the jet is equipped with the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, EP.WSS. Think of it as a digital shield that can jam, spoof, or blind enemy radars and missiles. Combined with its sheer speed and maneuverability, this makes the F-15EX surprisingly survivable, even without stealth. Structurally, Boeing has reinforced the airframe to last 20,000 flight hours, nearly three times the lifespan of earlier Eagles. That means each jet can serve for decades, spreading its cost over time. Perhaps most importantly, the F-15EX is designed to operate with loyal wingman drones and next-generation weapons, making it a key player in the Air Force's shift toward manned-unmanned teaming. It may not be stealthy, but it's smart, adaptable, and lethal. Let's break down the numbers that make the Eagle II such an impressive machine. Crew one or two, a pilot, and optionally a weapons systems officer. Length, 63 feet 9 inches, 19.44 meters. Wingspan, 42 feet 9 inches, and 13.04 meters. Height, 18 feet 6 inches, 5.64 meters. Empty weight, 31,700 pounds, 14,379 kilolina house. Maximum takeoff weight, 81,000 pounds, 36,741 on kiloidoid. Power comes from two General Electric F-110 GE-129 after-burning turbofan engines, each producing nearly 29,500 pounds of thrust with afterburner. Together, that gives the Eagle two tours. 2D, a thrust-to-weight ratio close to 1.1 meaning it can accelerate vertically if needed. Performance figures are just as jaw-dropping. Top speed, Mach 2.5 plus, over 1,650 miles temps, 2,650 kilometers kilometer to H. Combat range, about 790 miles, 1,200 certs. Ferry range, nearly 3,000 miles, 40 high feet 800 kilometers. With external fuel tanks, service ceiling, 60,000 feet, 18,000 meters. Climb rate, 50,000 feet per minute, 250 miles per mes. The jet also features fly-by-wire controls, replacing older hydraulic systems. This improves stability and agility while allowing for heavier payloads. Speaking of payload, the F-15EX has 23 hardpoints and can carry up to 29,500 pounds of ordnance, more than any other fighter in the U.S. Inventory. To put that in perspective, that's roughly the same payload as a World War II B-17 bomber, but delivered at supersonic speed. All these stats add up to a fighter that isn't stealthy, but is still incredibly powerful, fast, and flexible. It's a brute force approach to modern air combat. Speed, altitude, and overwhelming firepower. The F-15EX is sometimes called a weapons truck, and for good reason. No other U.S. fighter can carry as much diverse firepower. At its core, the Eagle II retains the classic M61 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon with 500 rounds, perfect for close-in dogfights. But the real punch comes from its missile and bomb loadouts. Thanks to the AMBER Advanced Missile and Bomb Ejector Rack System, the F-15EX can carry up to 22 air-to-air -air missiles, far more than the F-22 or F-35. These include AM-9X Sidewinder short-range missiles for dogfighting, AM-120, AMRAM medium-range missiles, the workhorse of U.S. air combat, M-260 JTM, a next-generation long-range missile still in development 
designed to counter advanced threats from Russia and China. On the air-to-ground side, the Eagle II can deliver a massive array of precision weapons. JDAMS, Joint Direct Attack Munitions for Precision Bombing, Small Diameter Bombs, allowing it to hit many targets in one mission. GBU-28 Bunker Busters for Hardened Underground Facilities. AGM-88 Harm Missiles for destroying enemy radars, and potentially the ARRW hypersonic missile weighing over 6,000 pounds, making the Eagle II one of the only fighters capable of carrying it. This flexibility makes the F-15EX a true multi-role aircraft. It can enter a mission loaded with air-to-air -air missiles, switch to ground attack, or act as a standoff strike platform, launching long-range weapons from outside enemy defenses. In future conflicts, the Eagle II might even serve as a missile caddy for stealth fighters, carrying large numbers of weapons while the F-22s and F-35s penetrate contested airspace. That synergy is what gives the F-15EX its strategic edge. So where is the Eagle Tutu, E-2, actually flying today? The U.S. Air Force received its first F-15EX in 2021. Initial deliveries went to Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, for testing and evaluation. By 2023, units in Oregon and California's Air National Guard were scheduled to start transitioning from their aging F-15C D models to the new Eagle Two. In total, the Air Force plans to buy at least 104 jets, though early estimates called for up to 144. These aircraft will primarily replace the older F-15Cs, many of which have been flying for nearly four decades. The Air National Guard, responsible for homeland defense, is expected to be a major operator of the type. Internationally, interest is growing. Israel has ordered the F-15IA, a customized variant based on the EX. Indonesia has been approved to purchase up to 36 F-15ID fighters. Other countries, including Saudi Arabia, Poland, and Thailand, have expressed interest as well. In practical terms, the Eagle Duituan Tuanantuan Suhuayel's Tut will not be America's stealth frontline penetrator. That role belongs to the F-22 and F-35. Instead, it will handle missions like air defense, no-fly zone enforcement, and long-range strike with standoff weapons. Think of it as the muscle in the U.S. Air Force lineup. Not the sneakiest, but the most heavily armed and hardest hitting. By fielding the F-15EX, the U.S. ensures it has a reliable, battle-proven aircraft that can integrate modern systems and serve well into the 2040s and beyond. Like any fighter, the F-15EX comes with strengths and weaknesses. Strengths, payload, unmatched weapons capacity, up to 29,500 pounds. Speed and performance, Mach 2.5 plus top speed. And incredible climb rates give it tactical flexibility. Modern avionics, AESA radar, electronic warfare suites, and digital cockpit rival any fifth-gen fighter. Longevity and cost. 20,000 flight hour lifespan, and about $27,000 per flight hour, cheaper than an F-35. Flexibility, capable of air superiority, strike, and even hypersonic missile delivery. Weaknesses, no stealth, the most obvious drawback. Against advanced surface-to-air systems like Russia's S-400 or China's HQ-9, the Eagle T-Foot, Two would be at high risk in contested airspace. Old airframe design. Even with upgrades, the F-15 traces its roots back to the 1970s. Critics argue that investing in fourth-generation airframes diverts resources from next-gen stealth fighters. Limited survivability in peer conflict. In a full-scale war with China or Russia, the Eagle Tsu-2 would likely operate from the second line, not the front. In short, the F-15EX is a compromise. It's not the pinnacle of stealth technology, but it's an affordable, available, and extremely capable platform that fills gaps left by delays in other programs. Think of it like a heavyweight boxer, 
maybe not the fastest or flashiest, but powerful, durable, and still capable of knocking out any opponent who underestimates it. How does the Eagle II stack up against today's top fighters? F-22 Raptor, USA The Raptor remains king of the skies, with unmatched stealth and agility, but it's expensive, out of production, and limited in numbers. The F-15EX complements it by carrying more weapons and operating in roles where stealth isn't required. F-35 Lightning on 2 USA The F-35 is stealthier, more networked, and more versatile. But it's slower, carries fewer weapons externally, and costs more per flight hour. The F-15EX offers brute force and payload where the F-35 focuses on stealth and sensors. Together, they form a high-low mix. Su-35, Russia. Russia's Su-35 is highly maneuverable and carries advanced missiles, but lacks the avionics sophistication and reliability of the F-15EX. The Eagle II's electronic warfare systems and integration with U.S. forces give it an edge. J-20, China. The Chinese J-20 stealth fighter poses a serious challenge with its low radar signature and long-range missiles. However, its true capabilities remain uncertain. The F-15EX can counter it by carrying large numbers of long-range missiles and leveraging U.S. satellite and AWACS support. Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale, Europe. Both are advanced 4.5-gen fighters with excellent agility and strong sensors. Yet neither matches the Eagle Tankuyuder as sheer payload capacity or speed. Overall, the F-15EX doesn't try to out-stealth its rivals. Instead, it outguns them, outlasts them, and fits seamlessly into the U.S. and Allied air power network. So, back to our opening question. Why build the F-15EX in an era of stealth fighters? The answer lies in balance. The U.S. Air Force cannot afford to rely solely on stealth jets that are costly, limited in number, and sometimes over-specialized. The Eagle Trekker für die Hort 2 offers something different. A proven airframe, massively upgraded with modern systems, able to carry more weapons than any other U.S. fighter and ready to fly for decades. It's not invisible, but it doesn't have to be. Instead, it fights alongside stealth jets, drones, and advanced command networks, acting as the muscle of America's air power. In a world where flexibility and numbers matter as much as cutting-edge stealth, the F-15EX fills a critical role. Is it perfect? No. Critics argue it's a stopgap, a costly investment in old technology. But supporters see it as a smart blend of tradition and innovation, a fighter that bridges the gap until sixth-generation aircraft arrive in the 2030s. One thing is clear. The Eagle Thruitwadertz Edo II is no museum piece. It's a living, breathing war machine built to keep the U.S. and its allies dominant in the skies well into the 21st century. So, what do you think? Is the F-15EX a brilliant evolution of a legend or a relic clinging to past glory? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into military aviation, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next episode. Because the sky may be vast, but here we make sure you always fly at the cutting edge.